Hello beauties and welcome back to my channel Jari Creates. I hope you guys are doing well because I'm doing fantastic. But today's video I will be doing an update on my anxiety and depression. So let's jump right into this video. So this video is about my anxiety and depression. If you guys have already watched my story time and my anxiety and depression mainly about everything that happened in 2018 then you know where i'm coming from i said i would do an update basically what's happening in 2019 so so far you know everything has been fine i'm not going to say good but everything has been fine but um honestly i can't say everything is better than 2018 but um as some of you guys know i did get a new job um i was working at food lion but um i did get fired but I will actually do a story time on that. I won't, you know, get into it. I want to do a story time on that because I feel like that's a whole different story and situation. So I feel like that is too descriptive for this video. But um, I haven't really had anything wrong with me. Um, I know in 2000 and like in the beginning of 2019, like in january and february i did you know have a few anxiety attacks and i did have some more panic attacks but they weren't as bad as last year now this year i actually just started having um anxiety attacks so i think my last anxiety attack was probably last month yeah i had one last month i was gonna say maybe uh april but that was probably like when my last worst one was but i did have a few in may like you know overreacting about a few things that weren't really serious or anything you know just doing too much basically that's what happens when you have an anxiety attack so anxiety attack and a panic attack are two different things but um yeah i haven't had a uh, panic attack since like maybe january or february I really can't remember the whole situation behind it of why I had one or anything or what I was doing at that time. I know that, you know, my doctor and my counselor like that I went to last year said I should record, you know, my panic attacks and what I'm doing and what happened and how long the panic attack lasts or whatever. But I did do that, but I ended up deleting everything because I felt like my anxiety attacks weren't too you know serious or relevant enough to me for have to, enough for me to record so i stopped doing that but you know other than you know the whole job thing or whatever like mentally and emotion I, emotionally i feel great like i'm happy more i found myself better and you know i'm just still pushing through to basically live the life that i want to live and it's fine, you know, that I got fired from food line. I mean, yeah, it was a job. It was, you know, something that helped me have money in my pockets. But, you know, I can always find a better job out here. And, you know, it did take like a, a slight toll on me because I was really upset because it kind of felt like what happened to me last year when I last when I lost my first job. But, you know, it's still bigger and better things coming for me in the future. I'm um, pretty sure a lot of good things happening this summer. Like I told you guys, I'm getting a new pet soon. Well, actually, I will be getting um, my pet like next week. So you guys will either get a video next week or the week after, depending on what day I get my pet. But, you know, I should be starting school in August. You know, I told you guys that. Um... But yeah, like it's bigger and better things coming for me. I don't know what else I could get in the future. Anything could happen. You never know. But that's really basically how everything has gone. Like I said, I feel emotionally and mentally better. Nothing has really bad, like really, really bad happening. I mean, other than, you know, a few stress, you know, situations but other than that nothing too serious nothing too big nothing compared to last year but since this video is kind of short i basically will kind of tell you guys um how i got fired from food line so 
basically you know how so before i jump into that i've been working there for about five weeks and i'm supposedly supposed to get a paycheck this week this thursday so we will as a cashier i don't know if a lot of you knew that or not or if any of you knew that at all i know you know family knows that and my boyfriend that's about it but yeah that's that was my position of cashier and so basically we have to get our cash registers counted at the end of every single shift so I'm not so basically like the I didn't really understand the whole situation I was kind of confused about how everything worked because nobody really like sat down and explained to me deeply in detail about everything that I needed to know about about the job so it's like I was learning something new every single day I went to work like oh I didn't know this nobody told me this so um so basically the cash register like they can see on the computer in the office where all the managers and supervisors go basically so the register that you're on basically has all the information all, records every single uh, transaction that you made with every customer so it's supposed to tell you how much oh this person gave you and or how much you know you're supposed to basically have in your cash register so they have this big money counting machine and it's like a scale basically so say if you had a, a big stack of ones about this high so you have to split it up in like little amounts in order to get the right or correct uh, amount of how many ones you have and i don't know why they won't just count everything like by hand i mean even though it'll probably take um a little bit longer rather than using the money machine i feel like even though the money machine is expensive it still probably have been there for like a really long time and anything that just because you just got something or if it's expensive doesn't mean that it can't lag because i've seen plenty of things like that like situations where people buy something for a lot of money and it something is already wrong with it when they get it or when they bring it home they start using it so I could care less about how long that machine has been there i don't care how much it costs i don't even care if it was two million dollars if the thing if that's a machine and you can't really 100 percent like rely on it to do exactly what it's supposed to do but they didn't really care you know they didn't really listen to me because i felt like it had something to do with the machine so basically because there has been times where the machine wasn't spot on and you know it has to be spot on because we want to know exactly how much a person is short in their cash register like i say you know we have to count out we have to get our register counted at the end of every single shift and we aren't allowed to count it they have to count it themselves if they're not a manager or a supervisor they're not allowed to count it so i know there's been like a few days where i was short in my cash register don't know how don't know why you know whatever and they didn't even try to help me you know monitor my cash register you know like why is my register keep coming up short now of course my register wasn't coming up short every single day i worked some days i was over some days i was short whatever and i know i don't know what saturday it was i think i worked like two saturdays ago or three saturdays ago one is the other that was the day i got fired that was my last day of work and then i know like before that day i had three days off so i had what was it friday thursday and wednesday off and i had to go to work and i also had monday off i had to go to work that sunday and i had to work that tuesday and tuesday was the day before i got fired well the second last day before i got fired and that day I did come up short. I think I was about a dollar and some change short. I can't remember if it was 59, 39 or something like that. And before she told me that I was a dollar short and some change, she told me I was about five dollars short. So I was trying to figure out how you go from five all the way down to one. So I don't know if she calculated it wrong or if it was the machine that did it. Cause I think she did count it like twice, two or three times. 
and I was like, oh, see, this is exactly, like, in my head, this is exactly what I was talking about. Like, just because that machine is expensive doesn't mean nothing is wrong with it. Like, I'm not saying that I'm ever, never short, but I know for a fact there's something wrong with this machine. So, yeah, I understand it's expensive or whatever. I'm not saying you guys need to hurry up and get a new one, but I'm just saying, like, if you know that it's a machine like it's lagging or whatever you guys should just count the money by hand i mean you'll get a correct number and it'll just be better for the employees so since i kept coming up short they put me on this strictly accountability sheet so basically it was like a warning and if i basically go past that warning then they have yeah, to i didn't really care that I wasn't working at food line anymore but I did care that I didn't have a job anymore because honestly I really hated that job like I could not stand the customers I barely could stand co-workers I mean there was some co-workers that I liked and it was some that I didn't really like her it was some that I was kind of skeptical about but um oh that's a little car I really didn't suspect like that what did I say that Tuesday I really didn't suspect that I was going to get fired I guess I wasn't really thinking like oh I forgot like I was short this day so nine times out of ten I'm about to get fired so she counted my drawer on that Saturday and it was over some cents I don't know how much it was For some reason I feel like she told me two different numbers that day too but um i was about to get off basically it was um i think i had got off at nine that day i think i worked three to nine tuesday i worked three to ten i can't remember what what time i worked sunday but um i was about to leave and i was actually supposed to wipe down my register and put up a little bit of loose and she was like, hold on, don't leave yet. And I was like, for what? Like, you're done cat in my drawer. Like, why are y'all holding me back for? Like, I'm ready to go. My aunt actually works there. She was actually the one that, you know, put me onto the job or whatever. And so, um, she was basically trying to figure out who was on a register or whatever. I can't remember what number it was. Because they were trying to, um this girl that worked all the way in the back so she was basically one of the stalkers and stuff like that she used to be on the cash register but it was probably like a long time ago way before i got hired and so she called her to in there and i'm like what is going on like why are y'all not letting me leave like can i go like my mom is outside waiting for me like and it's nighttime my shift was has been over i was supposed to been leave and all of this other stuff so um she told her my aunt she was like okay we need five minutes and i was like what so she finally left and she t went over me basically about everything you told me you know you were short or whatever i mean this is not how she actually said it to me she said it in a professional way she said it in a nice way because basically she said she didn't want to fire me because technically it wasn't her job to fire me because she didn't hire me the lady that hired me wasn't there she left at two that day so um basically she told me what it was and what it is and all of that stuff and you know told me i was short or whatever and basically you know that if you're within your 90 days and you're short too many times you basically have to get fired and the lady that hired me did not tell me that so i didn't know i didn't know how long i had i didn't know exactly the descriptive situation or whatever because nobody was telling me the stuff i needed to know nobody was trying to educate me on this job like like i said i kept learning new stuff every day i should have at least learned everything like all those times I had to come back for training. I literally went there three times before I got hired. The first time I went there for my interview. Second time I went there to put my information and stuff in the computer. And then third time I went there for my computer training, which was three hours. And I was like, okay, so all this stuff that I'm still learning, I should have learned this before I got hired. That way I could be prepared and know what I'm doing. That way I could have probably been working here longer. 
but you know it was probably like i said god's plan probably have something better for me in the future because that probably that job wasn't worth nothing other than a paycheck but um and actually the lady that hired me basically lied to me because she told me that it was a system error that's why she didn't email out the schedules but this dude was talking about the schedule when i came out i was like ain't no way all y'all went up there and looked at the schedule on the paper because if you don't get it through email or if you don't look at it through email it's always available on the paper and i know well that not everybody looked on that paper y'all had to get y'all uh your schedules through email so she lied to me basically when i looked at the uh schedule i had no days to work i had zero hours and zero minutes i'm like what is going on like why is my thing first of all i never got it and why is it empty and so the one of the dudes he was i guess he's a manager i don't know um he was um telling me you know you can write whatever days you're available and stuff like that and so I wrote that down, not knowing. Little did I know I was about to get fired that day. So I don't know, understand why they couldn't just tell me that and still let me go to work. Like, what was the point? So, since I went to work that day, that same day better be on this paycheck. Because otherwise, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to get my extra money. Because technically, that day, I earned $53 in like one cent. So I better get that $53 in one cent. So if I don't get it, I'm going up there. Like I said, it was crazy. I wasn't expecting it. It was like out of nowhere. That's basically the end of my video. I actually probably still will do a story time on Food Lion. Like, you know, how I was working there about the coworkers and, you know, basically what I had to do or a few of the customers I had to do with that literally rose my blood pressure but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and subscribe to my channel and watch my last video if you missed it i will leave the link down below comment like tell me what you guys think share this video and i'll see you later bye